Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's see what time it is here. Um, oh, there it is. 7.30, so pretty late. Pretty late in the evening. And John is sitting here trying to convince us to sit down, as always. Reverend Swanson is still drunk, passed out, naturally. And uh, before we get started... I would like to do a journal check. Hey, Mama. Um, what is this? Burdock root? Burdock root? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the herb. My bad. And what is this little town? Is that that trading post we found? Or not town, but house. And parasol mushroom. That's right. We picked those. We caught an opossum and then... Tore it limb from limb. Disgusting. Met a lady scientist, Deborah something or other. Uh, seemed to be seems to seemed seemed to be more uh, mad than sane. But I don't have much frame of reference for scientists. <laughs> Wanted me to see if I could help her find the dinosaur bones and send them to her her uh, something. Send her the details maybe. I remember that of course. Then we saw a rattlesnake, tamed a new horse, dog, pet a dog, okay. Now, one other thing I want to do real quick is just check through here really quick and kind of make sure I'm not missing anything. So the compendium, okay, I, I guess I'll take a quick look. We've discovered some animals, yep, some deer, a bison, some hens. Plain plump bird and time plump bird. That's funny. And a dog, of course. Good at retrieving waterfowl. That's cool. A possum. Pronghorn. Rattlesnake. Etc. There's a lot of animals we have yet to discover. That's really cool. Equipment. I'm not going to go through all this. Lantern. Where is that, by the way? I thought... I thought we... It says it can be found in the melee section, but I don't remember seeing it. And that's it. Fish? I don't think we've discovered any. Gangs. We know the O'Driscolls. Plants, eh. Horses? Yep. Kentucky Saddler and the Tennessee Walker. Weapons? Okay. Yeah, we don't really care too much about the rest. The cigarette cards are interesting. I remember we found one in the, uh, was Adler? Sadie Adler's ranch? Prominent Americans or something like that. And story-wise, it looks like you can replay missions and such. Yeah, that's cool. Win two hands of poker, return... <laughs> yeah, right. I'd have to just kill that guy with a gun. Um, okay, that's progress. What about player? What does that show us? Arthur. Okay. Average weight, fair temperature, <laughs> some honor. Oh, cool. It tells you, like, how much you have until your cores drain. Very cool. Wow. Okay. And the horse. Can we name him here? Bonding level 3. Calm. No, it doesn't look like it. Eh, oh, well. Story... Player story. That's saving stuff. Okay, yeah, that's it. So we're good. Then I just want to look at the purple. Look at the purple. I don't think. I think I could put hundreds of hours into this game and still take time to appreciate the views. Who's this? Dutch. Not sure how I didn't recognize the fella. Look at him wielding dual pistols. Hey, Arthur. Hey. You said that like you wanted something. When time comes, how you think you'll act? Time comes? I ain't giving it much thought. Well, I have. A lot. I think we'll be okay. But then again, well, maybe not. We are all just creatures. Is he talking about As death? <laughs> on a sea of magma. All is temporary. Yep. Ain't no souls. 
ain't nothing. But this. I guess I plan on leaving with a hole shot in me. That is something I guess you'd consider while you're sitting here looking over this beautiful landscape. By the way, I found out why it's called Horseshoe Overlook. And I don't know if I'm in the right spot. It doesn't look like I am. But, uh, uh this might be the wrong angle. But when I was down there the other day, I did notice the horseshoe pattern of one of those rock outcroppings. I'm not going to go look for it right now. Um, I will check the map though just to see, not that, but just to see if there's any missions other than hold on, what's this? Hosea has something for us? Okay. Uncle. Yeah, of course these guys. I'll get to them eventually. So two missions in the camp. Hosea has one and Uncle. We should we should probably do that. But before I do, there's so many so many before I do's here. Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. Hi. You okay, maybe? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. Oh, nice. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good <laughs> girl. Okay. Okay. Well. I don't know. Well, suddenly lighting. What happened there? That was weird. Just the angle I was looking over the cliff? Like, yep. Okay, that's really... <laughs> that's like... Turn on the lights! Okay. <laughs> that's... Like, is that a graphic setting, or what am I doing wrong here? Okay, don't walk too far forward, because we learned our lesson last time. It doesn't go over well. Well, I go over well, but the health doesn't. And, wow, I really have to... Think of something here. Hmm. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. I feel like I was going to go back here and... Oh, yeah, I was going to go here. So, instead of all this aimless wandering, let's actually go do something. Oh, we have poker now? Nice. I may do that sometime. It's nice to play with friendly faces. Yeah, I know you want something, but I'll be back. This is the horse that we found, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, Kentucky Saddler. So this is the one we brought back from that rancher who attacked us. Oh, well. Now to get my own horse and wander off. I know it's a little bit dark. Hopefully that brightness adjustment I talked about will come into play. Just listen to the crickets. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see what this fella's all about. Howdy. <laughs> too many folks about. Not many folks about, or too many folks about. I didn't really catch that. All right. So this will take us about where we were when we hunted that that buck. 
Roads? Is that what it's called? Okay. We encountered one of those before. Also, I missed a turn somewhere. <laughs> it's because I don't have the, the like the GPS thing on. It's just a compass. Plain old simple compass. Look at this lake. You know what amazes me? Hold on, I gotta slow down and let these guys pass. I wanna see what they look like. Typical cowboys, and they're not passing anyway, so... What amazes me is, I think I can go all the way to the other side of that lake. You know? And and I could do it on a rowboat if I so desired, probably. Hey, I see a tent down there. Let's go check it out. That can't end badly. I should probably feed my horse something. He looks like he's... Getting a little drained. Bird. Turkey. Turkey. That's funny. Ah, you can't lasso turkeys, probably. Alright, who we have here? Hey! What kind of business you got here at this godforsaken hour? Run along, I don't want to see you no more. Alright, simmer down. What's what's his problem? Turn heel right now, you hear me? Oh yeah? Okay, that was failure. There we go. For some reason, I didn't remember to click the dead eyes, so... You know what though, he had a problem. Like, I meant him no harm, just like the other guy, and people just seem to not like me. So, not my fault. 41 cents. And a valuable gold pocket watch. Cool. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I have something evil in mind here. And no, it's not put him on the train tracks. Although, that's a very tempting. Does it show the train on the map? Doesn't look like it. At least not yet. So I was thinking more like... Put him on the fire. <laughs> there he goes. Oh wow, I didn't think that would actually work. That's disturbing. Ah, nothing like the smell of burnt human skin in the e evening moonlight. You're looking a little charred there, friend. And what is wrong with me? Let's take an apple and eat it. Apple. It's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Really? It really? Okay. Sleep on his bedroll. You know what? Can we cook us up some apples? <laughs> it's a really sanitary place to be cooking, let me tell you. Provisions. Plain flaky fish. How about we just show the craftable stuff? Not much. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Guess we should be getting back to our original destination. I have no idea what that guy's problem was. Okay. Back to it. Oops. Deer. Wow, that deer is not moving at all. Really? Oh, there he goes. Okay. I guess if you... 
Maybe he was just... Who knows? Alright. I do need to feed my horse. I know I keep saying that. Next time we stop. Hey, who's this? Oh, hey! You there! Think you could help a lady out? Okay, sure. My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Okay, yeah, why not? Sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Any time, I guess. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Well, that's kind of where I was headed, right? Let me see. Actually, no. This is brand new uncharted territory. Oh, wow, it's way up there. I don't know. That's pretty far, but I mean, we already accepted it, so sure. Let's get a move Why on. I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. That horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. <laughs> that fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? I'm Man, guessing not. He lifts his hand to wave the flies away. <laughs> Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? Biscuit. He was a fine animal. Loyal. Smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff. Not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Wow. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Sounds like a good Kicked horse. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Kicked his hide. Didn't think a man could run so fast. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, <laughs> he says. Gee, thanks. Well, stay out of the rough part of town, honey. <clears throat> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on Seriously? soon, though. I just ran over a rabbit. Emerald Ranch. <laughs> well, I don't think that's the challenge place. they were talking about. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. Really? There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. Huh. You can see her in the window sometimes. Well, that's kind of creepy. Poor thing. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there. All shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Interesting. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. I don't know. It sounds like your husband give give you guess. some trouble. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. I was, I was going to say she complains a lot about her husband for having just met us, but it sounds like it's totally justified. I'm guessing that's Emerald Ranch. Nice place. Nice view. Welcome to... New Hanover, Emerald Crossing. Hey, why are we stopped? We got a ways to go yet. I just want to check out the friendly folks heading our way. Hey, you gonna move at some point, or is this it? Ah, oh, we're gonna move. Hold your horses. Ha <laughs> ha, that was cruel. So. I don't know what I should expect here. That is a beautiful house, though. Look at the guy he just hardly going nowhere at this speed. Man, she is an impatient person. Look at this. These guys behind us are passing us on the carriage. I'm gonna take a look. There's someone in there. Here we go. This is great. Oh, we're here. This was kind of you, mister. Okay. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Is that her wedding band? Okay. <laughs> yep. Appreciate it. What a lousy day. Where is she? There she is. I'm actually gonna 
I'm gonna make sure she's uh she's okay with her husband here. So it sounds like her and many others just kind of work here on this ranch. Is that her husband? Okay, maybe she's not gonna do anything at the moment. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. And if this is your husband. Morning to you. Morning to you. Nah, he looks friendly enough. Saloon. I thought she said it was closed. It looks... Well, it actually does look closed. I want to take a look. Hello? The candles are all lit. Got a bad feeling about this. Just kicking around the bottles, checking out everything. Everything is very dusty and creaky. Oh, that's the back door. Okay. Hey, pup. <laughs> what about this door? Let's go outside, too. Eh, it's locked. It's probably an outdoor door. An outdoor door, 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 door. <sighs> Is it morning time already? Looks like the sun's coming up. Yep, 5.45. Hmm. Interesting. This room back here is locked. wonder what's in there. Well, now I have to go check out this home. This building. Locked. Okay. Does the water pump work? Nope. <laughs> Not for me, at least. Look at that horse laying down over there. Let's do some horse watching. <laughs> He's taking a rest. Morning. Hey, friend. Good morning. Morning. Okay, there. I asked you a question. It's all good. Calm down. You know what? what Where did you happened? folks meet? The freak show? <laughs> hey, that ain't no way to talk. <laughs> okay, Calm fine. Calm down. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you know, let's go talk to this guy. He looks like the owner. Hey, pup. Hey, boy. Oops, I accidentally scolded the guy. Or the, the dog. Come on, pat him. Why ain't I patting him? Come here. Okay, I guess we're not gonna pat the dog. Hey, a cat! Wait, Hi there, what are you doing here? Hello. Hello. I can't. I can't defuse. I guess I'll be on my merry way. I don't want to cause trouble on the ranch. There he is. All right. Got some cows too. Nice. Mister. Morning, Mister. Hmm. Look at those snowy mountains over there. Is, is that where we came from? That's like northwest, so yeah, it's about over there somewhere. Um, I'm just so so lost in the view. I, I, I always forget what I'm going to say. Yep. Oh, uh, horse things. So, 
There we go. It's all right, boy. <laughs> drift, huh? <laughs> I can drift. I can drift. I can drift with a horse. I gotta see this. I got to see this. Yep, I'm drifting. Oh, drifting right into the riverbed. Okay, I gotta see how that looks in third person. Let's see. Let me get up to clear territory and then... Oh yeah, okay. Kind of just does a little slalom. Funny. Ah, those deer hear you coming from a mile away. That's yeah. about realistic, I guess. Oh, gonna kill another rabbit on my horse. <laughs> Almost. I'm guessing I go a little slower off the paths. That's kind of how the first one worked. I think we can catch up to those two guys up there. I know they're probably nothing, but... Uh, St. Dennis, Valentine, Rhodes, Emerald Ranch, okay. That's a cool place down there, too. It's a nice covered wagon. What's that all about? There we go. Cut free. I can do that. Oh, hello. That's so cool. He's just out here taking a break, and I nearly cut his horses free for no reason. All right, let's keep going. I want to get to that. Uh, that shack or whatever. Down here. Yep, I see something. Hello, deer. Now, we got some fishermen down here. We have a... What is that? A bunch of barrels on the wagon? Easy, right, let's, easy. let's hitch up the horse somewhere. Or at least just leave him here, I suppose. And let's go talk to this fella. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. Go on. Get. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. I was just about to say, he doesn't seem to unhappy that we're going and bother him during fishing. You know, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Scare away all the fish. Now, what is in here? It's a mighty fine shack. Oh, look what I found. I found a fish card. Largemouth bass. Jolly Jack cigarettes. Fauna of America card 7. Very cool. I'm keeping that. Increase my dead eye a bit. That's cool. Very detailed. How about this? This looks like a private room. I'm gonna check it out. Cause that's what I do. Yep, that's a bed. Oh, we have a chest here. We got some clothes. Herbivore bait, I'll take it. And some rifle cartridges. Then I'll close it so he doesn't have a clue what happened. What was that? Fishing line, maybe? 
Nah, I don't need the cigarettes. Might as well search the word wardrobe. And uh, hey, some hair pomade. Hair grease. <laughs> search the drawer. I'm totally gonna go grease my hair. All right, we'll leave his room alone. Probably shouldn't have done that. But here we are, doing it. Anything else to take? So it's his fishing shop, basically. Bait and tackle. Which I don't think I can do yet. But I'd really love to. Can I swim? I'm not going to find out right now. I think I actually need to wrap it up here. Maybe a little bit early, but... Got some stuff to do. You know how it goes. Increase my stamina yet again. All right. I should sleep on that bed, but no, no. We've checked out the shack. Next time we'll make it back to camp and then see what Uncle wants, maybe? Or maybe Hosea. I want to get to town because I feel like that's the main story mission I need to be checking out. But there's just so much stuff to do. So much stuff to look at and admire. I'm having a great time. And I really had a great time fighting that guy last episode. That was so much fun. He's <laughs> such a tough looking guy. Alright folks, as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.